finish off the end ones here. Okay, one more. Okay, and that's it. That's how you do that. Okay, I'll go back and do another stripe of pink. See, these are just going to travel to the side your yarn so you don't have to cut them because the, you use them so often okay and again this is another hand manipulated row drop my yarn in again and you hand manipulate the stitches at the same place as you did before go this one here will be a long stitch this will be four normal size stitches this will be two normal size stitches all these will be the long ones so one long two short one long two short no four short long, two short, long, another long, four short, I did this swatch in a black as a background and gray and white and it was really pretty. I think a sweater in that pattern is probably in order for me. In my future I should say. <laughs> okay so that's it. You can probably see the a little better here that the stitches are longer in between here. So. Okay well I'm gonna do this a little bit more so I can get a good swatch to show you people what it looks like and uh, I'll be back and show you the finished the finished uh, product on the right side you can't really tell on this side what it's gonna look like but on the other side it's really pretty okay so I'll show you later okay I finished the swatch that I was working on and I bombed off the top you would end with a uh, knit four of the main color and your pattern would continue up the top as in right here and you can see it's all done there it's a small scale so that would be good for a sweater or maybe scarf or a hat okay in the back all you're left with is these on the sides and you can just hide them into your uh, your seam and these here and it's a nice clean seam on the other side so that's it for this one that's all you have to do here okay and next I have some uh, textured stitches that I posted a couple years back that I'd like to show Okay, these are just a few textured stitches that uh, I'd like to show. This one here, it's very much like a hand knit honeycomb stitch. I've already started it here. And what you do with this one is you, um, you put every second stitch 
in forward non-working position. So I just had those in non-working position. I knitted across. Now I'm putting them back in position. Now I want to get the opposite stitches out in non-working position. And you have all these back in working position with the stitch on and the the wrong that went over. And it's a it makes a, a tuck stitch. Every second row makes a touch a tuck stitch. So you just knit across. <coughs> okay. And a booble right off the bat. So I'm just gonna put that back on my stitch. On my needle, sorry. Along with the tuck. And just hand knit it. Okay. <clears throat> and again, the opposite stitches go back into non working, I mean, in working position. And then the ones that weren't, in, that were in working position, go in non working position. Okay, my latches need to be open. Okay, and knit across. Okay, same thing again. Put these back in working position. And the other ones in non working position. Every row you have to uh, switch them around. Either even numbers are out or odd numbers are out. Okay, so I think you get the idea of this one. I'm just going to push these back in, knit a few rows, and uh, show another one. This makes a very thick, dense fabric, so I would use it on key plate four. <clears throat> a smaller yarn on key plate four works well. Okay. This next one is a variation of the of a fisherman rib. So I would knit a few rows. I'll just. Keep going a bit. Okay, and this one you get a pattern on both sides. This one, the one I just made, you don't. Okay. So here, on my tool. Okay. So here you go. Ladder down. Ladder back up as in a normal fisherman rig. Okay, miss one, miss the next one. This one here, the next one, you start in the stitch above or the stitch below the one you just used. Okay, here I went way too far. my mess here. Okay, so here I'm below this stitch, so I'm going to start up here. Okay, miss one. Next one started the same one this in the same row of stitches that you started the last one. Not the last one, but the first one. So 
to this one here where you end, you end with only one left. Next one you'll have two left. This one shows a zigzag zigzag line on the opposite side. continued like this across. I made a shrug once in uh, in cotton with this pattern. It was very pretty. <clears throat> okay, so that's how you do that one quite open and lacy in the other side. I'll show you the other side in a minute. It's quite pretty. Okay, another variation. I need a few more rows. I think I'll raise my hand here while I'm at it. This one's another variation on the fisherman rig. You get a different pattern on both sides and it lays really, really flat. <clears throat> I'll start in the middle here. Go down two. Every second stitch, go down two. trying to work and I get my elbow in the camera but it's kind of impossible. Oops, that was the wrong one so I'm just going to leave it there. <clears throat> 